Okay, we're back for the next game. I've lost twice already, so my record is, what, 4-2, I think? 4-2. Um, the deck, I think, is pretty good, and it played decently smooth, but uh, as you can see in the last game, I got stuck on two lands for a very long time. Uh, I wonder... Although my, my opponent's deck was incredible. He has so many bombs. I wonder if it would have made any difference if I didn't get mana screwed, but... Um, but we'll never know, you know, because I did get mana screwed. Um, with, I had a lot of uh, decent units left in my hand that I couldn't play. Um, this hand's pretty good. Uh, turn 1 and 2 plays aren't really real plays. They're kind of conditional. But uh, turn 3, this is not bad. Yeah, that's a fantastic turn 4. I'm not going to use Bring Down on this. My opponent being green... I think sooner or later he's gonna play a flyer. I can deal with a two-two or even a. Oh, it's a it's a mentor, not a student. So yeah, it's, it's just a two-two. I'm I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's just play this, um, and I'll just trade it with his uh, paladin. There we go. This one I might want to silence at some point. This is really unfortunate. I, I don't... Oh, I didn't even play the right... Oh, uh, I was busy talking. Uh, 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 no, I'll just take four. Um, I don't generally like to use good removal spells like this on units when I have no board. Um, I like to use it to punch through damage whenever possible. But man, my opponent is going off. Let's just kill this thing. Um, I will have to mortar this if I don't draw anything. And I count this as not drawing anything. No, I can play this and I can finest hour and block one of his units. So it's still pretty good. It would have been nice to be able to kill that thing uh, with a mortar. Uh, on the previous turn, because then uh, yeah, on the previous turn, because then on this turn I could have um, played the bring down instead on his flyer, and this would have an this would already be dead, and I wouldn't have to worry about getting minus two minus two in my unit. That's kind of unfortunate, I guess. Um, this 1-3 blocks that indefinitely, so... Maybe I don't play this uh, Sky Snapper. Because if I play the Sky Snapper now, he's just gonna kill it. Actually, my opponent's board is really bad. Um, I might be pretty happy playing the Sky Snapper here, and just trading it with one of his units. Um, because I don't really care if it dies. So I can either mortar this, or I can mortar this, and chump this every single turn, or I can just play the Sky, uh, sky Snapper and just just trade this, which, yeah. Um, all right, well, anyway, I, 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 will, I will use the mortar, just because I have two mortars and one Sky Snapper. So because I have more of these, So if I mortar this, this becomes a 0-1, and it dies to this next turn. No, 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 let's just do it this way. A land would be... <laughs> My opponent has some pretty mediocre creatures. Uh, I'm going to attack him. I mean, he's certainly not going to block. And then I'll play the clan hero here. Or do I? I play the clan here, it becomes a 5-3, he's going to minus 2 it, it becomes a 3-1. I'm okay with that. He has no attacks, because this 1-3 can block the 2-2, and then the 5-3 can kill either one of his units. So, which is pretty good. Um, next turn though, the decision is, do I attack with the clan hero? Because he's going to block it. 
probably gang block it with these two. Uh, and then minus two, minus two on this. Which I think it's okay. Or I can do none of this and just tack him in the air for five, for three every turn. And keep my five, three. No, I'm going to attack him. Because he has a bunch of the, uh, fairly useless 1-1s, one and as soon as I start playing more units, like this 2-2 two -two here, um, I, can, I, can, I can attack them. I really want one more land, and then I'm set. Then I'm going to run away with the game, drawing, drawing two cards per turn. Uh, oh no, it's a 5-5. Five five. I guess I take 5. Uh, well, now I have to block it. And then he. So he gets a trade with this and then kill this. That's too bad. It is still a 2 on 2 trade because he loses two things and I lose two things. But that is still too bad. Uh, I'm going to play this. I guess he's. I give him the option to minus two minus two this, but he he won't do that. He'll just do it to this uh, sky snapper instead. So there's no no risk there. And if he has a removal spell, then he has a removal spell. There's nothing I can do about that. I'll be surprised if he kills anything other than a sky snapper here. Yeah, he's my opponent has a lot of very mediocre creatures. Um, decks like this has to come on board fast and furious, backed up with some removal spells and pumps, and he doesn't, and he drew the wrong part of his deck, I think. Because um, he started quite a slow, and he has shown me no tricks. Uh, do I attack? No, I'm not going to attack him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he needed to draw that on turn one, and then like, or that on turn one, and then curve out perfectly to to do well in this game. Um, yeah, just keep drawing cards. I'd rather draw cards than pump this thing, because yeah, drawing cards, I love it. Every turn drawing two cards, I'm gonna run away with this game very quickly. I still have some of my best cards. I still have two harpoons, two more heart uh, mortars, and I have the sapphire dragon in my deck. And two more a special architect to protect the uh the hero. Let's just keep drawing cards. It's a 5-2 though, that's actually getting pretty big. Maybe I should kill it. But whatever, let's just draw a card first. Um Yeah, I can mortar this now because it could be problematic later on. He plays a land, tax for five. A chump? Mm. Yeah, let's just kill it. I do have one more copy of Mortar as a removal spell. And then I think that's it. Okay, so let's give this thing Warcry. Let's give it Aegis. There's a 3-3 three, three now, uh, and then draw a card. I probably should have drawn the card first, but uh, I don't think it matters that much. Attack him for one. I forgot I had a static bolt, but this bolt. Um, yeah, give it flying, make it 4-4. Four, four. But let's draw a card first. Now my opponent is in a lot of trouble. I'm still not ultimating this thing because even if it's a 3-5, I don't think I'm attacking my opponent. Ah, there it is. There it is. Let's draw a card first. Overwhelm. This is a 5-5. Five, five. How is my opponent going to deal with this thing? 5-5 five, five, flying, war cry, overwhelm, Aegis. 
Next turn he dies, because I have 12 damage here. Yeah, my opponent's deck, I think, needed to draw and curve out perfectly. 1, 2, 3 drop, backed up with a little bit of removal uh, or combat tricks to punch through damage. Um, it seems like he's playing a lot of fairly mediocre units. All right, we're on to game seven. If we win this, then we are 7-2, which will be quite nice. Uh, yep, this is a clear mulligan. I think two lands is very, very risky. If I can help it, I'll mulligan the two lands. This one, much better. I have an interactive spell on turn two, and then a decent three drop. If I get the spell shield architect, this is a 4 4 Aegis, um, which is pretty good. I'm only two lands away from using this thing, so that's also a pretty good draw. But that, <laughs> that wasn't a mistake by my opponent, I think, because you really don't want to play this on turn two, unless you're going to curve out perfectly and you have another one on turn three, and, and, or you have a lot of good three drops, but typically I would like to play this when I can play a land as well and pump it. That's fine. Wouldn't consider that a very strong play. Um, Let's play the 2-4 because it's more mana efficient. Next turn I'll attack and then hopefully spark this into a 5-3. Unless he plays a blocker, of course. I'm really glad he played this on turn 2 and not turn 3. Wow, that's a very strong card. Um, Alright. Uh... Let's see how ballsy he is. Oh, he just snap blocks. All right. Well, good play. Good play. <laughs> good play by my opponent. Uh, he's not afraid of a trick at all, even though I am in the color with tricks. Okay. Lots of card advantage here. Yes. Six mana. Um... I attack, this eats this for free. These two can gang block this and kill it, but I get to kill his uh, equipment. What is his best block? Or he just blocks this, kills it, and then take four, five? Uh, no, I I'm gonna play the, the glider instead this turn, so there's no reason for me to, to, to spark this into play. Because if he can't kill this glider, I'm drawing an extra card next turn. Echo. Oh, it's a, it's a power, of course. That could be a dagger as well. Uh, the, the one mana. Oh no! Oh no! That's very unfortunate. So now my attacks are significantly worse. Um, I guess an extra unit here in play. This eats this. These... Two can trade with either unit. Um, I'm not going to play my clan hero because it doesn't do anything on this board. I'd rather spark it. My opponent's deck is very good though. Um, a burn spell with silencing effect, another silencing effect. Um, a decent amount of card advantage. I think my opponent's deck is quite good. And I'm flooding out. So it looks like he has a trick because otherwise... He's losing his weapon here. Because he can double block this and trade. No, that's fine. I, I don't mind trading one unit for two. Especially if he's trading away this unit, which is pretty good. Oh, so he lose, he's losing nothing this way. That's fine. Well, now he's worried about a trick. So I've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six spells, and I've drawn eight power. Six spells and eight power is... Not great. 
Uh, it's going to be difficult to win games when you're drawing like this. Oh, wait. You know... Maybe I should pay more attention to the game and less to chatting with you. Uh, another power? Alright. Uh, I'm falling very far behind here. This is... I've drawn five cards, six cards, and nine power. Let's see if this holds anything back. My opponent's drawn 13 cards. I've drawn six, seven. Ugh, this is miserable. I, I think I'll block it just because this becomes a 7-7 seven, seven next turn anyway, and I can't do anything about it. Um, what can I draw to, to put me back into this game? Um, I could draw red, which will allow me to burn this, and then another... Well, I need to draw the red and the mortar for me to burn it, so I need two turns for that. Um, yeah, I'll take the 6. But the problem is if I block this this turn, the next turn he can attack with everything. Um, So this can chump for one more turn. Uh, I can take three here. I can double block his um, student if he attacks. Oh, no, I'm dead. I think I'm straight up dead now. Um, so that's exactly, that's seven damage. I gain a life. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I think it's too late because I have no way to block his flying unit. Oh, good games. Um, my opponent's deck is decent. It actually, I would say pretty good. Um, Awakened students are very powerful. Uh, he has a lot of card advantage. He has removal and silencing effects. So that's a good deck to lose to. I don't feel bad about that at all. Um, even though I didn't get my fire, I don't think it would have made a difference that game. I did draw too many power sources uh, to come back from it. But... Um, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, um, 6 and 3, not the greatest record, um, but that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it.